Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one about uh, Andrew Barry in the offseason for the Browns. I was just wondering, uh, going into Andrew Barry's third offseason with the Browns, do you think this is his most important because of the acquisition of Deshaun Watson uh, that they're in a win-now mode and because of the AFC being so loaded now that we are, like, once again, we're in a win-now mode. and with the draft picks that the less draft picks that we have because we don't have a first round and we have we need D tackle help, wide receiver help, D and help, that this is his most important off season because he's gonna have to dig deep in his know how because you know he is a good good evaluator of talent. This will be his most important uh off season of evaluating talent because we do need these depth pieces. And as always, we appreciate all the voicemails. Uh, G. Bush, I think it's his most important offseason just because three years in, you got to see things start to take shape. And, and when you get a quarterback like he did, everything else seems to kind of fall in place. You, you have a little bit more margin for error when you feel you have an elite quarterback because that guy has the ball in his hands every time you have the ball. Well, right, right now, it's, the heavy lifting's uh, done. I mean, you just got Denzel Ward. We just talked about that last segment. You just signed your, your top cornerback. You've done a good job in your secondary where you've gone and getting pieces uh, in Greedy Williams and Newsom, who are, are, are really good corners, young corners that bolster the other side. You've also done a good job in, in, in figuring out what you've been doing with your safety. So I think the secondary is solid. Uh, when you look at uh, you, you locked up Miles Garrett a couple of years ago. You got uh, Nick Chubb done last year. You still got uh, you, you know your receiver and Mari Cooper that that is going to be your number one receiver this year. And you've you've already bolstered your uh, your your kick game with uh, Gene Grant. Uh, so you got to think about this. He's already done a lot of different things. The only thing he needs to do is find and get creative to find a defensive tackle. He needs to get some more help at, uh, at a receiver. But the Browns are, will, uh, you know, linked to Will Fuller of the Texans. Uh, Jarvis Landry seems to be still in the mix. And then Jadavian Clown is still in the mix as far as a the guy they may bring back into the fold. But the number one position that they've already figured out is quarterback. It's a massive upgrade in quarterback. The guys that you see on the roster today – Donovan People Jones is automatically better. Schwartz is already better. Uh, 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 you know, uh, Demetri Felton is better. And your running backs are better because you have a top five quarterback legitimately in the NFL. I say it again, people don't understand. When you get that guy, everybody steps up a notch. Those throws on third and seven, those are on the money. You need to create some time and some plays uh, uh, to, 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 you know, you know, get out of the pocket a little bit and make something out of nothing. He has the ability to do that. So when we're looking into just regular stuff, yes, it, we still need to fill out the roster. But when you look up from top up to top down, very little holes on this roster. And I think uh, your, jo your job is to get the best available players and kind of fill in D-tackle or wide receiver. And I think they could do that. Yeah, all teams have holes uh, without question.